When you have two small children to cart around, you enter the world of the double buggy, which can often be big, expensive and seriously impractical. Monster have been on a mission to find the best double buggy and we think we found it. The out and about Nipper Double has won the award for the Momsnet Best Double Buggy 2019. It wasn't an easy decision. We asked Momsnetters what products they would recommend. So we tested 10 different prams over 80 days and covered 500 miles. We tested each of them on six key areas, assembly, day-to-day -day use, safety and stability, aesthetics, value for money and cleanliness. In my opinion, it totally deserves this award. It is a breeze to push and it's relatively slim line for a side-by-side -side double buggy, meaning that it can fit through most doors. Each seat can also hold up to 22 kilograms, which is up to the age of four. Another plus is that this pram only weighs 12.8 kilograms, which is one of the lightest ones that we tested. The only downsides are that you have to purchase quite a lot of items separately, such as a carry cart, a storage basket, and also this pram doesn't fit a car seat on it either. Um, but apart from that, it is really good value. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to the good stuff. The nipper comes in seven different colours. This one here is the classic black, which personally I think never goes out of style. It also comes with tons of thoughtful features, such as the retractable sun canopy, and my personal favourite is the peekaboo windows, which means you can keep an eye on your kids as you go. <laughs> the seats are a great feature of this pram. They are roomy, they're padded, and they're also machine washable, which, I mean, why would you make a pram that wasn't machine washable? Children are gross. <laughs> Each seat comes with an adjustable five-point harness, which means the pram grows as your child does. It's super easy to clip and unclip, and it also comes with a padded bumper bar for that added security. Each seat is reclinable, and it also comes with a lie-flat recline, which is great for newborns or napping toddlers. The seats aren't parent-facing unless you buy the additional carry cart, and also you can't attach a car seat, which might put some parents off. A huge plus of this pram is how easy the brake is to use. It's super easy to clip on and off, and you can even do it in sandals, so the five minutes of summer we get each year, it's perfect for that. The Nipper has a reputation for being great for off-roading, and I can testify for that because I have just pushed it all the way up this hill in knee-high grass, and it stood the test. This pram is seriously smooth to push around and can handle the toughest terrain thanks to the chunky air-filled tyres, the rear wheel suspension and the lockable swivel front wheel. The Nipper also works really well in the city, handling curbs, pavements and parks really, really well. It also has an adjustable handle which means it's comfortable to push around at any height. In terms of storage for this pram, there actually isn't that much unless you're going to purchase the additional storage basket. There are two small drawstring pouches at the back, which will probably hold a handbag and maybe a pint of milk, but it's not gonna hold an entire food shop. Considering how much stuff you actually need to cart around for two small children, it does seem a little bit unfair that they don't include the extra storage. But saying that, the frame is still relatively cheap, so even if you did purchase the additional storage, you're still looking at a cheaper buy than a lot of other prams on the market. I will point out though that there is some additional storage in the hood. There are two small pouches that could probably fit in things like your phone and your keys, or maybe a baby bottle of milk. A great positive about this pram is that when folded, it will fit into your average five-door family car. But if you are worried about storage, you can also take the wheels off to make it even smaller. The pram is also really easy to store and it's freestanding when it's folded too. So it means that it's really easy to put into a port or a hallway. I will be honest with you, while this double buggy does have a lot of amazing features, folding is probably not one of them. It took me a good long while to figure out how to fold it and you definitely can't do it one-handed. <laughs> Fold. Oh no, <laughs> fold down. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's give this a go. You wanna put both of the seats in an upright position. And then there's two little clips to unclip either side. And a little catch here that you can release to then fold it and push it in. And then this front wheel also spins like that. There you go. <laughs> On the plus side, it is much easier to unfold. So you just unclip it here and then lift the handle, put the clips back in, 
and you're ready to go. Overall, the Out and About Nipper Double ticks all the boxes. It's great whether you live in the country or the city, it offers really good longevity and good value for money for most parents. The pram did let itself down on storage, being a pain in the ass to fold and not being car seat compatible, but overall it is a really good buy, which is why it won the Mumsnet Award for the Best Double Buggy 2019. For more double buggy reviews, visit mumsnet.com forward slash reviews and don't forget to subscribe. I've got a fly on my nose. <laughs>